Hey everyone, I'm back again with a simple video. Um, sorry about the voice, I'm fighting off a common cold that seems to be going around at the moment. Um, but regardless of that, I treated myself uh, last year and last month to some new peripherals. Uh, so I'm going to crack open the first item which I've actually had in use for about a year now at this point. Um, I found it new in the box and it's one of these Dell Quiet Key uh, keywords, uh, PS2. Um, my main um, primary machine that I use day to day has a PS2 port still on the motherboard so I can use this uh, natively without any adapters and um, I just wanted a bit of retro chic uh, to sort of go with it um, plus my um, usual keyboard's a little bit meh, average. This one's a bit nicer. And um, what else have we got on the cards today? Uh, well, I got something shipped all the way from Australia. Australia. Um, we don't have a Microsoft store here in New Zealand, so this one had to come by a DHL. Um, but yeah, it's a classic. Um, well, it's a modern take on the classic uh, Microsoft Pro in Tallymouse. So uh, this is what we got going on here. There's two variants uh, that you want to look out for, the Pro and the Classic. You definitely want the Pro, it has a far better sensor in it. The Classic, from what I can tell, is actually really not worth buying. It is like 20 bucks or 30 bucks cheaper, but this one is definitely the one to go for. Uh, my only complaint is that um, I wished it was a bit heavier, but I'm sure you could take it apart and glue some weights in there if you really wanted to, but uh, we'll crack it open. I've actually got two of these, I bought one as well at the same time uh, with the keyboard a year ago but I've taken that to the office and uh, got a nice shiny new one for home. I uh, just really like the shape of them, they're really ergonomic, the side buttons are good, it's got a good scroll wheel, uh, good customization, um, overall just a really comfortable mouse to use. It comes with a nice braided uh, USB 2.0 uh, cable there, good length as well. Um, braided cable is quite nice, it doesn't get latched on to things. Uh, so here's the setup, excuse the mess and the chocolate and stuff on my desk, but um, we're just going to wire this up and um, have a quick look at the Microsoft software you can use to sort of customise it a little bit. It's pretty easy, um, thankfully you've got full adjustment for your side buttons, top buttons and scroll wheel. You can, do, um, you can switch the buttons around and change the scroll wheel rates and things like that. Um, I mainly just use this app to dial in my uh, DPI settings, so you can do that via the app here. I like 3700, it's sort of my sort of uh, sweet spot. I don't like mice that are too fast because I can never see where the cursor is and too slow is just like, you know, churning butter across your desk sort of thing. It also has a uh, customizable uh, RGB LED in the base of it, so you can sort of you can see here I'm just going through the colours. But yeah, nothing too uh, schwanky or too outrageous, it's pretty simple but really good design but yeah, there's my um, peripherals set up and I'd definitely recommend checking the mouse out if you can find one. Uh, as I said I had to buy this from the Microsoft store because all the local ones had uh, run out of supply. Um, but yeah, other than that it was just a simple little upgrade set for my daily driver. Alright, thanks for watching and catch you guys soon.